Congratulations, by the way, on a great first season with the uh, Pistons. Thank you. You did a great job. It went all the way to the playoffs. Yes, yeah, thank you. How, uh, how's your off season going? Oh, uh, it's been good. Just yeah. kind of hanging out, enjoying some time off. What do you think about this whole, the whole uh, free agency? That went kind of crazy. It is, but honestly, the Nets man, and like Clippers and almost everybody. Did you know? About, uh, did, do people know about this stuff before it hits the news? Or uh, I feel like no. I mean, I, I find out about it, some of the stuff just as a fan. Like um, you didn't know about any of these. Some of the guys you kind of know, like you kind of hear some things. But I, I was at the um, comedy store the other night, and and when Kawhi went to the Clippers, yeah. And I was, my friend was on stage doing a set, and I was like, it, it started happening, like rolling in, and he came off. He was like, "How was it?" And I was like, "I, I don't know." I'm, <laughs> This is huge. I'm on Twitter right now. This is giant. Yeah. So that's how you found out is on Twitter? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's that's like for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but do you, do, you also love comedy. I love that you love comedy. What, what got you into comedy? Uh, I think just, you know, from, from an early age, watching comedy with my dad, Saturday Night Live. Um, and Who are then some just, of your favorites? Uh, <laughs> On, on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you have to mention, um, like, Adam Sandler. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, you, were, you were really great. Oh, thank really you so much. Oh, my gosh. You didn't have to say that. You didn't have to say You didn't have to say that at all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what, what are your favorite characters of mine? Uh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then you started doing stand-up yourself. I did, and, man. I kind of like stumbled into it. I was going to go to Just for Laughs uh, in Montreal. I love Just for Laughs. This was like four years ago, I think. And, and um, I was, had a call with like the director, and he was like, you know, we should find something fun for you to do. And he's like, do you want to host like the Midnight Surprise show? I was like, yeah, sure. Like thinking I was just going to be like, and now so and so. Yeah. And it turned out I had to do like 10 minutes. Um, so I had to go write 10 minutes. And what did um, you write about? Just basketball, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just do you do what you know, know, man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, and it worked out, and now I, I, um, I've written a whole new 15 minutes or so, and I've been, I worked on it in L.A. I'm going to go out tonight. and um, That's fun. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And so this thing is uh, July 25th, I believe, yes. uh, it's, uh, and if you go to the website, hahaha.com. I can't believe they got that website. Three ha's, yeah. Three ha's uh, and go uh, Comedy by Blake, get tickets to go see this. Have you ever been uh, heckled? Uh, not while I was doing comedy. I get heckled all the time playing basketball. <laughs> Um, just by fans yelling? Yeah, just fans, especially on the road. There was a guy one time, my, like one of my very first games like in, in Portland. Uh, I was like a rookie, just checked in, and this guy named Kurt Thomas was standing next to me. Sure. And uh, this, it got so quiet in the arena so everybody can hear this guy. And he goes, hey, Blake, the coolest thing you've ever done is stand next to Kurt Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty good. I was like, yeah, I mean, at this point, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> actually, he's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, has it helped your basketball at all, doing stand-up? Um, not really the physical part of basketball, but um, definitely, you know, like after the game, you have to do media and you have to sit at a press conference and, and answer questions. And I feel like people always think athletes are like really stupid. And it's not that we're stupid. It's just that we've just exercised for two hours. <laughs> it's and there's a, not really like enough oxygen in our brains to, <laughs> to actually be able to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I, I, can, I, can I show you? Sure. All right. Stand up for me. Okay. You need just like a little bit of space. Do you want to come here? Sure. All right. So what I want you to do. Okay. Uh, run in place, jumping jacks, whatever you want. Okay. For like 15 seconds. And then as soon as you're done, I'm just going to ask you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see where this and is going. While, right. and while you do it, I'm going to commentate on how you're doing it. Oh, my God. This is the... All right. Start off really slow. All right. Quick feet, by the way. And stop. All right, Jimmy. Yeah. Tell me how you feel, and tell me how you're feeling about how you feel. Uh, I just. All right. <laughs> and um, one more time. How did you feel when you first started out there? Uh, I don't. I remember. See how stupid that sounds. <laughs> it's not. It's not our it's fault. Not your fault. It's not your it's fault. It's not our fault. Blake Griffin, everybody, go to hahaha.com for tickets to comedy by Blake. Uh, uh -huh. It's on and on and on.